right, let's kick it off. This is I Saw It on the Internet, a podcast really about nothing but crazy stories that we found on the internet. You can submit them to internet at kevonstage.com. I totally forgot to say this on the other episodes, but you can find this wherever podcasts are found. By now, you maybe know that or it's too late. Today's panelists are Mel Mitchell, Jason Hollingsworth, Hollingsworth. Anthony Charles Baker. Hollingsworth. That's my legal name. Yeah. Y'all right. don't know that big Irish name was Jason Hollingsworth? The like, government. Yeah. Is Hollingsworth Irish? It's it's a long story, but it came from uh, England over to Ireland, then Ireland to, yeah. Portland. Ireland. Valentine Hollingsworth. My dad's last name is O'Kelly. That's Irish. I got mm. 1% Irish up in me. Tony's, a, a, is it an eighth white or a quarter? I got 25% German. 25 percent. It keeps German? going up. That's 25. a significant amount of German. <laughs> yeah, it keeps, keeps going, going up. up. It keeps good because it started at 20. It keeps. Increasing. I don't believe those things though because uh, there was identical twins that took them and oh. sent them off, and they got different results. Wow. Or maybe they had different dads. No, but they're, they're we, twins. Now we had a weird story. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. I saw but identical. No. They had mom had sex the same day. Identical is the same egg. Oh. Fraternal is two eggs, one sperm. Yeah. So identical is the egg splits in two. Mm. Wait, is it two egg two per- two egg two sperm? It can't yeah, be one. It's it's one egg, one, one sperm, egg and it splits. Like you know, it's still zygote. Yeah. What? No. Zygote. Sure, but it splits you know in two. Yeah. yeah. I so what's I fraternal? Know. Two eggs. Fraternal is two sperms, two eggs. Yeah. Okay. So y'all just siblings, born at the same time. Same so they could come out and not being that's identical. That's how you can have different dads. That's how the one has different dads. Because some women ovulate with two eggs. Yeah. Every time. Maybe not every time, but it's, it's random. But like that's why, like a lot of mm. Africans and some, they say yams. I think mm-hmm. make you have twins. Can I get to the yam? <laughs> Sweet yeah. yeah. You know that's off of Martin's song. Sure. I mean that yeah. came from Martin. Mm-hmm. Really? That's where Masego got that from. There was a song. Oh. I want to say it was. Uh, What's the episode with Tommy Davidson? Tommy Davidson, uh, Vernell Hill. Vernell Hill. Um, Can I get to the yams? Sweet. Yeah. Barnhill Hill. This is it. Show me the. <laughs> Tommy Davidson killed it. Mm. Mm. Tommy Davidson is funny, man. Huh? Talented. Mm. Tommy was one of them generational, not was, but one of them generational talents. Not enough credit. <laughs> you know what, Tommy Davidson? I don't know where the the yams part is. Um, I'm not driving. Probably better off on Is TikTok. it Martin? It's it's this scene. I don't know the timestamp. Does Martin sing it though? You asking us? You told us <laughs> the news. <laughs> you want us to develop right. your story? You told us about this. I oh, forget. I can't find it. <laughs> but I was having right. this debate the other day. <clears throat> living in living color. Uh huh. Produced, oh, what, seven or eight generational <coughs> stars in like three Jamie, seasons? Jamie, Jim, J Lo, Tommy, oh, David. Dang, I, didn't about, I forgot about J Lo. Who are you going to say? Can she count? I was talking about just the comics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damon was on there. She had a lot Damon. of talent in her. Damon, Jim, Jim Jimmy, Jim, <laughs> Kim, David Allen Greer, Kim, Kim, Kim Wayne. Mm. David Allen Greer, oh, that's Kim five. Takia uh, Crystal, Kima. Yep. Kim she went Coles. On, Kim, Kim Coles, Coles. She was on there a little first bit. Season. Yeah, first season. Yeah, that's seven. Mm-hmm. Um, There's less people who probably weren't. I mean, these are huge. Seven out of Sean was, and Marlon. Sean and Marlon. That's mm. nine. And then Keenan created? Yeah. That's ten. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. For a sketch show in Living Color was packed with more heat. More <laughs> Le- less of a run in SNL because SNL been on for fifty years. It literally has, and been. it's really only. The Living Color was like, what, man. Five, if you take okay, so now season, give me the ten six. SNL: Eddie, Adam, Adam, Sandler, Adam, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell, yeah, Tina Fey, Amy Tina Poehler, Fey, Kristen Wiig, Kristen Wiig. Yeah, was weird. Amy Poehler on there? Amy Poehler was on there. I don't know if they're generational. Kristen Wiig, Bridesmaids. Wait, wait, wait. Don't what play does her generational face. mean? Like, <clears throat> don't play with Bridesmaids. I'm, I'm not playing with Bridesmaids. To me, Jamie. He's been, since in Living Color, he's been generational talent for, what, 20 years? 25 uh, years? Oh, Jimmy Fallon. Sean. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Martin. Steve Martin. That's working. way before my time. Steve Martin. Dana Chris, Carvey. Chris Rock is also SNL. Chris Rock. Tracy Morgan. See, he's going to have so much more time. Chevy Chase. Bill Murray. Chevy Chase was on that on oh, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Yeah. He was the news. Dan Aykroyd, for oh, sure. They're going to win because they have 50 years. John Belushi. But Chris Farley. Hey, Chris Farley. Chris Molly Farley. Shannon. David Spade. I don't know All about right, Molly Shannon. I love Molly Shannon. 
That's a stretch, though. She had one movie. For Superstar? Yeah. Superstar. Now, she's been good in other shit, though. What? She was funny in uh, Little Man. She was funny she in... She was in um, Little Man? She was in Little Man. Remember the scene where the, the mom on the van and they were trying to like change the diaper or some shit? She was driving. Molly Shannon is fucking hilarious. She, was she in, is. No, no, no well, she, she was in something... Um, oh, The Grinch. Molly mm. Shannon was oh, Cindy Lou Who's mama. Meadows. I don't know. I feel like to be... Tim Meadows, yep, the black man. Santa Lodge has been on long time. It has been. It's been they produced. That's, that's why I said. For that's why I said pound for pound. 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 That's why I said pound for but pound. But Living Color was only on for like six exactly. years, exactly. and they got all the stars. I don't think it was that many. Now yeah. let's talk about Mad TV though. Nah, they, they, no stars. they can't hang. Bobby Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Peel. Peel. Bobby Lee. Harry Spears. Harry Spears. First of all, none of those three are <laughs> of the careers of the other people yet. Mm-hmm. Key and Peele. King and Peele. If we put Molly Shannon in but the we talk equation. About, if we talking about Will David Sasso. Allen Greer, we can, or even... Who? Okay, I'll give you Will King Will Sasso's funny. King and Peele. I love Will Sasso. Definitely got to put Jordan Peele in there at the very least. Jordan Peele, that at was... At the very least. But Michael Keegan Key is, is No, no, I got working. you. But I'm, I'm comparing them to, like, Jamie, though. You comparing everybody Jamie's to Jamie? Jamie's one of the most well, talented people Well, I'm like, that's... We, we talking about the best If you got to be Jamie the level, if you got to be Jamie level, then... What are we talking about here? Because everybody That's my not... thing. Like, Jim Carrey was the best at his game. Jamie, the best at... Like, these people are on top for a minute. Key and Key... And I like Key and Phil. So they got to be on top? I'm thinking, like... Because if we not... If we if we putting people at the top, top, yeah. we got to take a lot of them li- in Living Color people We off. got to. We got to. So if we going to we do Living take Color, all we... All Kim Coles, we got to take off David yeah. Allen Greer, we got to take off Tommy we Davidson. We got to take off the Tommy. Okay, but leave him in. I'm not letting you take him off. <laughs> so, okay. are we okay, leaving okay. Okay. Him in. Okay, okay, I like oh, Key and Peele. Phil Lamar is probably one of the best voice actors of our generation. He's great. Yeah. I like Phil Lamar. But that's what, four? Bobby Lee kind of been working. Bobby Lee, because I just saw him on something the other day. Mad TV ain't stacking up. No, nah, Mad TV. It's compared to SNL no, and, nah. and Living Color. It was better skits. Oh, um... Lois Griffin, what's her name? Who does? Oh yeah, Miss Swan. Miss Swan, she is. She's Ms. on that. Miss Swan is Lois Griffin. Oh, what's that's her, her name. That's a... it's the same lady from mm. um. She from Mad TV. Yeah. The Ma- Mrs. Maisel. Mrs. Maisel. Mm. Alex Borstein. Borstein. Alex Borstein. Mar- Marvelous, oh. marvelous Mrs. Maisel. She's in that too. Uh, one more time. She got a marvelous Mrs. Mrs. Maisel. <laughs> she might be the Mar- biggest Mar- from Mad <laughs> TV. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Mad TV struggling. Mad TV struggling. Because the Living Color and SNL created movie stars. Yeah. I mean, you have Eddie Murphy alone. There's nobody in all the rosters that touches his career. Eddie Murphy is number one out of everybody in terms of... In the history of, of the world. In terms of what he was able to accomplish. The crazy wait, wait. thing is oh, you can also, go from John Belushi to Eddie Murphy to Mikey Day. I got somebody all on the, the, Will Ferrell is all on the same. These people wait, are on the wait, same wait. role. So, are we including the writers? Because didn't no. Larry David write on SNL? He did. Oh and he was God. in a few sketches, Dang, too. Mike I Myers think. was on that yeah. too? Mike Myers. I forgot Phil about him. Phil Hartman. Dana Carvey. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Dana Carvey. Seth Myers was, was on David there. Was David Spade on there? Yes. Da- Dana Carvey was on there. Mm-hmm. Norm MacDonald. Yeah, oh, yeah. Carvey. That's, That's a stack. Man. Andy Samberg. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. Maya Rudolph. We didn't even get to Maya. Uh, oh, Maya Rudolph. I don't right even know man. if you can win pound for pound. For pound. Garrett Morris? You can, though. Jason Sudeikis? Because SNL that. has more of a roster to choose from. Because if we look at <coughs> if we look at every cast member of SNL and stretch it all out, yeah, the, you're gonna have a lot of people you never even heard the, of. The percentage is gonna be higher for *In Living Color*. And that show's literally been on for 48 seasons since 1975. Yeah. So now, if you said you had to limit it to a five-year span, okay, that's when. How about this? Okay, uh-huh. top Whatever. seven versus top seven. You can only pick seven or five. Okay. How do they stack up? So we got. So if you're going from Saturday Night Live, you only have five to choose from, regardless of all 48 seasons, to go up against five from Living Color mm. and five from Mad TV. And we basing it Mad up, TV's up, out. Mad, what's TV, the, what's the price? Yeah, Mad TV's Biggest out. Biggest stars, yeah. most success. <clears throat> so Eddie A-list. Murphy. A-list. He's the probably the biggest star. So we'll do SNL. We'll do SNL. Over, over Eddie. Okay, Eddie SNL. Murphy. Eddie Unless Murphy. it's all the way in, so then that's, then that's Adam yeah. Sandler. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Will Ferrell. That's three. Chris Farley. No. Well, he, I, I think we, Chris Rock is bigger than Chris Farley. Too soon. Chris, he died Chris but Rock? We, but, but I'm not, I'm not saying you, putting Chris Rock in there just yet. But oh, okay. okay. We're talk, we talking resume, Wait, body let's go of back. Work. You said Eddie Murphy, Will Ferrell, and Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler. Okay. 
Hey, Bill Honestly, Murray was in there too. I forgot. Bill about Murray, him. man. Bill Murray's in there. God, and that you had America. white people success. And he's still working. He was he's in that still man. working. From, from still relevant, still working. Damn, this is they stacked over there now. They, they stacked. stacked. Tina Fey. Tina Fey is is crazy. But they yeah. Tina Fey. Um, they have Tina Fey. Steve Martin. Yeah. No, Steve What's Martin it? wasn't a regular though. He would just show up a lot. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Mike Myers Martin might be the Short. next biggest. Martin Short wasn't an SNL. Mike Myers. That's Martin Short easy. wasn't an SNL. Mike Myers probably is the next biggest of these people. No. Martin you Short? You don't think so? For sure. Wait, wait Martin who? Short was on SNL. No, he wasn't He wasn't a regular. Oh. I don't see him on this list of stars. Mike Myers, you can't, you can't put... Shrek? Goddamn. Shrek? Shrek. Awesome Shrek. Powers. Powers. Shrek. <laughs> but then, oh, but then uh, he, Bill and Donkey. I mean, not Bill and Donkey. They got Shrek and Donkey. That's not fair. Then he disappeared. For a long time. But he was he on for a minute. He honestly ain't got to do shit else. He made Shrek, too. For sure. So you but, got but, two but more. Would you put him over Chris Rock? No. Because there was a maybe a five-year period where Chris Rock was the biggest comedian on earth. From Chris Bring Rock the Pain to Bigger and Blacker. Yeah. Head of State. And then he did earth, movies. Pooty Tang. And he Hit did TV Everybody shows. Loves Chris. Everybody does. Oh, oh Chris. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody hates Chris. Or hates Chris. I was like, why is this so And Madagascar. Yeah. He he had a he had a moment. He had a room. He's still having moments. And he's still, he was, he Adam did that Sandler first had had a run. The Saw movie? Oh, Adam Sandler's in there for sure. Eddie though. had oh. a run. <laughs> Absolutely. We need two more. You, I you say got Chris two Rock. Oh, you taking Chris Rock? And Bill Murray. But was, Chris Rock wasn't a regular. Yeah, he, he was. He was. 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 Absolutely. Who the hell was that? You was young, You weren't man. born Watch when out, The Lion man. King don't came out. Of course you don't know. You weren't alive then. Let me write these down just so I make sure we said Okay, we said Somebody Eddie Murphy. Somebody in the chat said Chris Rock was on SNL. What? Yeah. Eddie Murphy, Adam Sandler, we said. Who else? Uh, hey, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Pootie Tang was Chris cinematic Rock. excellence. It bombed. Chris Rock, and who was the last one? That time? Uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray. All right. So now you got mm. Liv In Living Color. Jim Carrey. Jim, Jamie. Jim Carrey. Jamie. And then if Damon. you want to do Damon, Keenan, Marlon. Or Mar Marlon Sean. Sean. Damon be like probably has the best career of the Wayans of acting wise because he had. Do you think so? Had, yeah, because he had my wife and kids. Keenan created in Living Color, and he had his movies. He had my favorite parody movie ever. Keenan made all the movies. Yeah, but I'm talking about acting, acting wise. People are gonna put the star that's acted in stuff more than the creator. This is mm -hmm. the five I was saying. All right, got Sheen, Jim, Jamie, Damon, Sean, Keenan. You need Marlon on there. Sean is going weak. Oh, oh I, meant, I meant Marlon, not Sean. Okay, Marlon. I was like, Sean is. I, meant, I like I Marlon. Marlon. Marlon, <laughs> Marlon Keenan. Keenan got a illustrious career. Mm -hmm. He was right for Keenan wasn't the star for all of it. He's writing. Yeah. He's producing. And he's he started in movies, too. Yeah. He was in The Glimmer Man with Steven Message Seagal. Go down dirty. Low down dirty shame. Yeah. I'm gonna get you sucked. Shame is one of my favorite movies ever. So I love that movie. Saturday Night Live wins. Saturday Night Live is sure. gonna win, but Saturday Night Live wins. I, I, I knew that because it, it's an uneven. Eddie, Eddie beats Eddie beats Jim Carrey. Eddie's the big Joker Barely. and the baby Joker. Want to take a quick break from the show to tell you about fabric. Listen, parents, it's no secret that you have the people who rely on you. Do you have life insurance so they're protected? Don't wait until it's too late. With fabric by Gerber Life, you can help protect their future right now and provide them with some financial security that they deserve. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. Fabric has flexible policies for your family and your budget with quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. Get your personalized quote in just minutes and then apply when it's convenient for you. It's all online and on your schedule. You could go from start to covered in less than 10 minutes with no health exam required. Not sure if life insurance is right for you? Take Fabric's quick 60-second quiz to find out. There's no risk to apply. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can cancel at any time. Fabric has partnered with Gerber Life, trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years with over 1,700 five-star reviews. They're rated as excellent on Trustpilot. Listen, join the thousands of parents who trust Fabric to protect their family. Apply today in just minutes at Meet fabric.com slash crazy that's meet fabric.com slash crazy m-e-e-t fabric.com slash crazy policies issued by western southern life assurance company not available in certain states prices subject to underwriting and health questions and now back to the show barely yeah I no did a, I, I, barely? I did the gross point bake with them two head to head barely 
Eddie barely beats barely. Jim Carrey. But here's what I think about Box he, office Here's why I think he's a bigger star. Mm. He had Saturday Night Live. Yeah. He had Raw and Delirious, still mm. biggest comedy movies ever. Well, Kevin Raw, Hart couldn't Raw even... was actually released theatrically. Delirious wasn't. Okay. Really mm-hmm. was? Yeah. Wasn't he a theater both of them? It was HBO. It was like HBO or oh, something. Okay, okay. Kevin Hart tried to catch him. He couldn't. He couldn't, yeah. Even for with he, inflation. With, without inflation, Raw is at 50 million. Kevin Hart's highest was at 38, I think. Really? I didn't know he yeah. still couldn't beat him. Kevin Hart was like, I'm, he said it. He was yeah. like, he was trying to catch Eddie, and right. he just couldn't. Right. And he was the only cast member, if I'm not mistaken, to be on SNL and host SNL while a cast member of SNL. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. So And he was like 22, 23. Eddie versus who? Eddie versus who? Eddie versus Jim. Jim had some box office smashes. For sure. He had some smashes. That's why I pitted him too. You got Ace Ventura, yeah. the he had Cable Man. Dumb and Dumber. Dumb. Cable, oh, guy, Cable Guy liar. was considered a fail, though. Truman Show. You know who we're Truman forgetting Show was hit. on Saturday Night Live? Maybe he wasn't a regular. Ben Stiller. I didn't know he had anything to do with ben that. Ben Stiller is a Nepo baby. A what? A nep- He's a Nepo baby. Nepotism? Nepotism, Nepotism baby. Oh. Uh, Jerry <laughs> Stiller and... Uh, yeah. that, that man and that lady. Marlon Wayans has had a pretty good career. I Absolutely. think Marlon may have, career-wise, surpassed, like, the... not Obviously not more successful or talented than his brothers, but, like... Because he's a baby. He had more time, and he had that set up for him. No, they Keenan. had all the same time. And he kind of passed the baton because Keenan started Damon, doing his own movies. But Damon had My Wife and Kids, which was a really successful But other than sitcom. that, what, uh, he had more money. Major but that Pain. Was with Major Pain. Major Pain. Okay. He had, uh, what else? Last, he had Boy Last, Scout. Boy Scout. Last Boy Scout. Love that movie. Yeah. Uh, and then... But, you know, Martin and them had some... Them scary movies that's was what doing saying, money. Scary and Marvin, movies, Martin was doing white money. White chicks. And, and things right. the head when Directed you're... by Keenan. What scary movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be a menace. And he was writing those too. Keenan yeah. was writing those. That's why. She, that's why Marlon's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Marlon was haunted house. Did numbers too. That's what I'm saying. Once he started doing that. a haunted house, he, yeah. Marlon started doing shit on his own. And he's done drama. And he's a great dramatic actor. Now he, he gonna did. beat that woman. And that Aretha. He did the Aretha that Franklin Risa? joint. Bel Air. Requiem for a Dream. Bel Air. Bel Air. Now he does really good job. He got range. Jim Carrey's got some good serious. Oh hell yeah, Jim yeah. Carrey is serious McGee sometimes. Yeah, he was, he was uh, uh, what's the dream movie? Now if e- you Eternal if you, Sunshine, yeah. Spotless Mind. If you pitch Sean against Chris Rock, Marlon, Mar, I mean, Marlon, <laughs> Marlon has a stronger filmography does than Chris. Probably, but Chris <laughs> Rock had them specials. Chris Rock because you got to put everybody head to head. Chris Rock's separating factor was them specials. That's what was making him a star. Oh yeah, like well, that. yeah. There's no, there's no. Those specials were not a lot of people can compete with nobody. Chris Chris really. Like yeah. I actually probably under Eddie, black comedian, he probably has the next biggest special after Eddie. I can't argue that. Three of them, mm. yeah, that were amazing. Yeah, I can't I, argue. Yeah. That. I don't think you can compare Marlon to Chris because you think about a lot of Marlon's movies were Marlon and Sean and such and such. And like, it's not just Marlon led movies, it's him and his brother. He got Senseless on his own. He got Six Man. Six Man is great. He got uh, Six Man was good. Haunted House is on his own. What's the other basketball movie that he was in by himself? It wasn't with his brother. He was in Above the Rim. Above the Rim. That's it. That's what I'm saying. But those are not Marlon movies. The Chris Rock movies are Chris Rock movies. But he was above the title. Chris Rock movies, he don't have that many that are like, that's an amazing film. I mean, they funny though. So I think I think Marlon has more range. <laughs> I don't. What I, I, down not, to earth? Head of state weren't funny to y'all. They weren't. Head of state is funny. I mean, like I, I like, never go back with to Bernie Mac and slapping wait. people and, right, and yeah. down to earth. We had Regina King in that, and then the, we also the have we I also have. I think I love my wife. I think I love my Wasn't wife. CB four. CB four. CB four. And he good. was great. And I'm gonna get you sucker, which was Keenan's movie. Right. Chris Rock has probably Bonnie the most memorable scene. Bonnie T Boomerang. Don't remember that. You don't watch Boomerang? He worked in the mailroom. I, room do, I don't Boomerang. remember that. Scene. But he didn't really stick out in Boomerang like that. He was funny. He was like the young. <laughs> he kind of like ushered him in. But he was game. also in Lethal Weapon Four. Chris? Yeah. He sure was. And he was His in the. Uh, he was in that. Uh, and New Jack Marvel? City. New oh Jack City. yeah, uh, New he was Jack great. City was fire. New Jack- that, and that's that's where you compare Chris and Marlon because they were both drug addicts. Requiem for telling, a Dream, the, New Jack City. But the stand up to me is the separator. For oh, Chris. Chris. Yeah. There, and we also forgot Eddie Murphy had the PJs. 
which nobody ever talks about. He I enjoyed the PJs. the PJs. PJs was outstanding. He did have the PJs. He was great. Jim Carrey and never Eddie produced. Murphy's doggone animated. Donkey. That's why I feel like he the, separates the himself from Jimmy. That, uh, that's why. That's why Jim he Carrey. Did. Jim yeah. Carrey was the Grinch. Nah, but this is that's a live action movie. Jim. Eddie Murphy was in some of the best Jim a- animated. Some voice. What's Eddie Murphy was in you? Mulan and Shrek. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Was he in Pets too? No, I think that's no. Kevin Hart. That's Kevin Hart. Oh, uh, no, no. Keep it quiet, friend. You okay? I'm just. I'm like. Now, mind you, kids. Cool. When I when I when I, I, I compared him, <laughs> I did take Shrek out. Why? Just because it was like I was really comparing Eddie versus Jim for real. Like how that's not for real. Because it's it's just voiceover work. Even though what? it's not just simply that. Like Donkey is he transcends it, but but Donkey is Eddie. I you know that's out. Eddie Murphy. I took it. I took it out because I was doing Jim versus Eddie for real. As like a, in terms of us looking at them. Now if this is my age group. Now I was a child when Shrek came out. And Eddie, Eddie still Shrek? won. Is what I'm saying. Mm. Shrek. Shrek is one of the best Shrek. animated films. Oh, Shrek Period. is fire! It won. The, it created the Oscar. It was won, that the first one? It won the first mm. animation Oscar. Oh, 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 I was about to say the Oscars been here since the I didn't know that. 30s. <laughs> Look at Shrek was so good they were like, we gonna give this. Thing we gonna make yeah. it a award to Shrek give y'all niggas because y'all ate that. Like Shrek that's was, how Shrek good was Shrek was. The anti fairy tale movie. It was so good. Shrek it's honestly fire. for adults. And then Shrek two and all that shit was amazing. Shrek two was. And it's that still going. Puss in Boots is a hit. First of all, Puss in Boots was sip. not what I expected. Uh-huh. He was having an existential crisis. <laughs> he had a panic attack. I, I thought he was going to be doing one. like... <laughs> yeah. I refuse Tone. to watch Puss in Boots because I feel like Donkey deserved a movie more. And this nigga done got series and this is only third. They probably got the yeah, money to give protesting. Eddie Murphy. They That's probably, what he said. Eddie probably didn't want to do it. Well, I'm personally asking Edward Murphy. <laughs> Edwin <laughs> Murphy. Can Antonio you was like, I'm down. Man, I remember we worked at All Deaf and we was doing the All Deaf Movie Awards, which was kind of like against Oscar So White. Mm-hmm. And they was like, we should give Eddie Murphy a Lifetime Achievement Award. And Russell Simmons said, Eddie Murphy wouldn't come downstairs of his own house <laughs> to accept an award from us. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know the reason he, because I did a video about this guy. I was so upset. I was thinking about how good Dream Girls was. <laughs> he did not win the Oscar for Dream Girls because of Norbit. It fucked up his Oscars campaign. I Man, have never forgiven like Alan Arkin and the Academy for giving Alan Little Arkin Miss a award. I'm so mad about that shit. I, and I love Little Miss Sunshine. Jimmy Early, Eddie Murphy as Jimmy Early is an Oscar winning performance. I don't care. And I liked, I liked Little it. Miss Sunshine. Yeah. And I liked Alan Arkin in Little this Miss Sunshine. This is Alan Arkin. Alan the Arkin is always he's, good. He's rolled up in the fucking paper towel in the backseat of that fucking Volkswagen <laughs> half the goddamn movie. You gonna be and tell me Jimmy wanna read it. Jimmy, wanna read it. Jimmy, Jimmy had a character okay. arc. He was down on he his He was on Heron. He was the leader. He came up 10 years of solid gold action. Come on, man. Yeah. He drinking milk. He was in a love triangle between Princess Tiana and Jaleesa from a different world, and you gonna mean to tell me he ain't getting no goddamn Oscar? Yeah. Dog, I was so mad he about that. He got robbed. That. that was his. He left. He left. At I that remember moment. I was 12 years old. I said, if they don't give Eddie this goddamn Oscar, and when he left, I said, that's right, Eddie. You get the fuck up out of there. I was a child. That's and I knew. how what yeah, I wanted Eddie. Angela Bassett to do with you. Just thinking about the old movies, yeah, you can't touch Eddie. Huh? I'm just thinking about the old movies of Eddie's. Oh. 48 wow. Hours, Coming to America. You know, that's on Jim Carrey. But Jim Carrey had. For every classic Eddie has, Jim has one too. Like Dumb and Dumber is up there yeah. comedy wise with Dumb uh, and Dumber, the first Ace Ventura, uh, The Mask. I know you don't like the oh, mask. The mask. Cable guy. Tony don't like the mask because he don't like silly. He, I don't he, like the mask. He put the mask on I and Tony was like, man, it took me a while to warm up to Ace Ventura. <laughs> I felt like he was trying too hard to make me laugh. And I was just like, (laughs) man, turn it down. Just a taste. I'm going to laugh, damn. Also, that Ace Ventura do not not age well. Oh, with the trans woman? Oh, yeah. I forgot. There's no way. We watched with our sons, and it got to that part. I said, hey. There's no way. You can't do that. You can make that now. You can't. I paused. I said, children, your mother and I forgot. We don't support. We have forgotten about that. But trading places is great. And here's what separates Eddie from Jim, movie. though. Okay. Jim, Jim was striking out early before he even blew up. Before Living Color, he was in several movies that didn't work. Earth Girls Ooh. are easy. Earth Girls are easy. With was he a bitten. vampire? With yeah. 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 He was in the Clint Eastwood. He was in one of them Dirty Harry movies. So Eddie Murphy's first movie mm. is uh, 48 Hours. Oh, yeah. He was great. He Made $90 out. million dollars in 1982. Swinging. 
That was the first movie. He's the lead. Is that Nick Nolte? He wasn't even a sidekick. He was like, he wasn't like, yes, sir, man. They was at odds. Like, fuck you (laughs) and your couch. It was great. Kate, you know. I I just watched that. Followed that up with Trading Places. (sighs) Equal smash. Billy Ray Valentine. Equal smash. Remember when they picked him up and his legs came out? Man. Oh, my God. (laughs) Equal smash. And he wasn't wasn't a sidekick again. And then Beverly Hills Cop. Dang, he was man. so big that they was like, yo, be in this movie Best Defense. It's horrible, but we can, we can throw you in it just to make the movie better. So he came in after the movie was shot just to be in wow. it so the movie could survive and make money. And they Dang. paid him a ridiculous amount. That's how big he had gotten off the first They two. reshot and just to they, add him? They was just like, just, please be in it. Vampire and he did Beverly Vampire Hills Cop. Brooklyn. And he was supposed to be <laughs> in Ghostbusters. For, as Ernie Hudson Go- character? Oh, he was supposed shit. to be in Ghostbusters, and so he picked Beverly Hills Cop instead. Smart choice. Yeah. Smart. And then he you didn't even name coming to America. But he wouldn't have lost either way. Nah, then he, he started wouldn't. making his own shit. Because Ghostbusters yeah. was equally Absolutely. up there with uh, Bill Beverly Hills Cop. And he has coming to America, and very few people have what you call a like cultural classic. Like People get mad if you haven't seen it. Right. He has low-key two. Honestly, uh, coming to America and uh, Heart oh. of Nights. Oh, oh, so life. So it is People a cultural don't get mad classic. Life. I, I, yeah. I didn't say it was a cultural classic. I said <laughs> that Sister Act Two was more no. culturally relevant. I didn't say Heart of Nights wasn't culturally relevant. You, run into you more can't put who Sister Act Two over Heart of Nights. Nights. Yes, you can. No. Cultural oh, boomerang too. Yeah, boomerang. I mean, boomerang. Boomerang was was black elegance, mm-hmm. black excellence. They didn't think it would work. They ain't thinking it would my, work. It's my favorite movie. His hair was brushed backwards. <laughs> you can't really pull that up. Everybody he can't was brush their hair Halle backwards. He Berry like second string. She but was Halle the, Berry wasn't Halle Berry then. I mean, she was just coming off playing the crackhead in Jungle Fever. It was, so. it was 92. It was, 90, it was early. You know what I'm saying? Nutty Professor is just like, <sighs> is the where, resurrection. Where comedy peaks. Man. Nutty Professor. Comedy, you don't get no really... funnier than that. But he me. got some epic L's. Though. Oh, he do. He got some Pluto L. Nash. Ron Hubbards. He got some <laughs> LL Cool J's. Pluto Nash. D- meet Dave. Meet Pluto Dave. Nash is one of the biggest box office bombs in film history. The budget was lose? ninety million. It made seven. Damn. I didn't know it was that bad. Really? It's one of the biggest Holy box office failures of all that time. That movie lost $83 million? More than that, because that's not including marketing and promotion. That's the, just the film the budget? The budget was 90. I don't think I've seen it to this day. I mean... I remember seeing it as a kid, like, I ain't going to see that. Yeah. Me, Dave. He made, like, five in a row. It was like, what are Meet you doing? Me, Dave. Imagine that. A thousand, a thousand words. words. Yeah. And at Norbert, it was Showtime, probably flop, but it went I crazy. Spy. They were just taking the it. Vampire in Brooklyn was an L. Not Bagger Vance, but what's the one that's Mr. Will Church? Smith. Not Mr. Church. Mr. He Church was, was good. Bowfinger. Bowfinger. That movie made money. It did. Yeah, it, it made like brought him out of that slump. What was the movie that he did? Was it Shrek? Or so that was after Shrek. So okay, so it was kind of like during. So when Boomerang came out in '92, it made seventy million, and then after that, he did Distinguished Gentleman. <laughs> which nobody really cared about. So it started doing this. <laughs> then he did Beverly Hills Cop 3. Yeah. Tanked. L. Ron Hubbard. Damn. Again. So it was just like, Eddie's kind of falling off, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nutty Professor brought him back. Yeah. Nutty Professor was a smash. Dr. He, Doolittle. He followed that up with Dr. Doolittle, another hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he, he dipped into the I Spy Showtime. Let me, let, me go like, back. Ah, let me go back to the track. Now we back to... You know, then it was like, all right, man, come on, man. Bowfinger came out, did well, but it wasn't like Eddie numbers. Yeah. But it was critically acclaimed. And then he did uh, Life. There you go. Which did did well. It wasn't crazy Eddie numbers because the budget was high. It was a great movie, though. But we loved it. We loved it. The blacks were in. And then he was that holy man. Oh. Terrible. His misses are. He's His not misses just, are epic. He's not striking out. The golden the child is going Remember out. Golden child. When was that? Oh, the golden child was in. That was in. That was coming to America. Eddie. Oh, that we have Mulan in ninety eight. Mulan. He did oh, Mulan, yeah. which was a hit. Yeah. We got Tony right here. You don't need. Right. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Daddy so. daycare. That was one of the wins. That was a hit. Critics hated it, but it, it made over hundred million. Like it squeaked one. past. Dang. Yeah. And so I didn't know that made hundred million. Haunted Mansion didn't do that well. <laughs> Doctor Doolittle Two was 01. Doctor Doolittle Two and Nutty Professor Two 
they did well, but you know, nobody talks about those seats. What is Metro? I never seen that one. Metro didn't do well, but it was, <laughs> I like Metro though. I like Metro. <laughs> Mr. Church. Mr. Church didn't this. do well, but it wasn't like a movie to do well. Right. But, but it, Jimmy Early. Dream Girls, Dream Girls did, did, great. did well. And J- and and Eddie was great in it. He was. And that's why I heard so bad, because I was like, he's not gonna get nominated again. He not. You Alan Arkin gonna get nominated again. They ain't gonna give but, Eddie no more but nominations. Norbit though, Norbit. I like Norbit. Norbit was amazing. Eddie Murphy. I didn't like Norbit. It was just he just it was goofy, stupid. too goofy. It was so. Yeah. It was Tony dumb. Don't like silly. That's my. That's when my she dream. had her that's belly so hanging over, and he was he's like, "You ain't got no bottles." I was like, "Oh, you ain't got no bottles." Of course I no bottles. <laughs> but it made ninety million. <laughs> he he was funny to me. Honestly, it's inappropriate now. Yeah. It's honest. It's still. It's fucking funny. I think it's very aware of itself. It's fucking problematic. It's all the obix. It's fucking funny. It's all the obix. I don't. It's funny. Like my favorite part was when she talking to Thandy Newton, Thandy Way, excuse me, Newton, about being skinny. She's like, "Oh, Norbit love a big woman. Just woo, bam, woo, bam, woo." I remember the good that recipe. Was shit. Solid, that was a solid I remember recipe. The good recipe I've seen that movie so many times. You're the part do. where she had no bottoms on. Of course, I'm wearing bottoms. <laughs> I can't, I can't even relate, you know. No, but how many times I can tell you when you drive my car, don't move my seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I move my seat with the whole heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I love. I got no. Why you don't like it, Tony? It just it's wasn't so funny. That's what's funny to me is Tony's <laughs> disgust. Tony's just. Uh, Tony has his Marlin disgust face that. is great. Oh, Marlin, Marlin was, was in that. Slide. Marlon was hilarious that. in that movie. It's That's fucking, what I'm saying, man. Marlon got the, the resume. Right. <laughs> Marlon got the resume. <laughs> he do. He do. And he seems like a very likable person. You know him. I know him personally. He be looking out for me. You know him. Yeah, for sure. I'm not just saying this stuff. No, no, I'm just oh, saying. Oh, interesting. No, no, no. no. Conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> I like Marlon. All right. We talked about In Living Color versus... Saturday Night Live the whole episode. It's a great conversation. Yeah. Before we go, <laughs> random question generator. We're starting with Tony this time. What is something that you like that your parents do? Something I like that my parents do mm-hmm. now or just throughout Anytime in life. the history of uh, parentdom? parentdom? I like the fact that I used to hate this about my dad growing up, but I like the fact that my dad was cheap if you will, mm-hmm. like a saver, you know, going because I feel like growing up, I was like, man, you cheap, man. Be getting us clothes, man. Be putting our money away and putting it in the bank when we get it on Christmas, <laughs> man. Let us keep that. But then looking back at that, I'm just like, yo, he he's good at money management. Okay. And so and with that's that, why you won't spend a dime to this. Day. I I I just be spending stuff on little. Tony stuff. got money under the mattress. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Baker. <laughs> It'd be like Tony was riding the bus to the airport. I still do. I went back to it. What is wrong with you? Because the, <laughs> because the personal car ride was mad expensive. Tony, you do- it was what? like five hundred dollars. Tony, you are going. I've been told this man so many times. Okay, then then Uber. You you riding the bus, man? The bus you gonna is ride crazy. it off? I try to tell Tony. Tony be having tax bill like mine. I'd be like Tony. It ain't like you get to keep this money. Why are you riding the bus? You, boom, I'm Terminal 5. You, they should be dropping you off there. It's still a ride. I'm still getting the ride. You got to go to the bus and then get on the bus and go down. You got to wait for other people to get off. The bus is crazy. And then you pay your taxes, and somebody at Capitol Hill is like, Tony Bank is an idiot. Give me that personal <laughs> car because I will never ride the bus. It was just mad pricey <laughs> just for the ride, oh, man. Oh, look at That's it. That's wild. 500 something dollars just for a ride to the airport? I mean, to be honest, an Uber with traffic is probably around that here in L.A. It ain't one way 500. <laughs> huh? It wasn't one way 500. That's there and back. The total, though. Flyway, 975. <laughs> Each way. I get it. 975, <laughs> Kev. Tony Baker, man. I mean, yeah, I got to drive from my house to the flyway. That's like 27 minutes, but come on. Tony Baker is going to be on Sunset Boulevard <laughs> opening a film. Tony Baker is the man. <laughs> Seven's pulling out and here he comes in the spot. You're going to see him in the bus <laughs> looking out the window at his own billboard. He doesn't even get dropped off in front. He has a block down. He <laughs> has to pull the thing <laughs> walking back. I rode the flyway. <laughs> yeah. If you're in Terminal 7, man, you are I'm the I'm never bus in forever. Terminal 7. I'm Delta. Terminal 3 every time. I know I got it down to a science. 
<laughs> and it's not even that many people getting off when I get off. <laughs> and I usually leave Wednesday nights. Mm-hmm. So it ain't, you don't usually it's be crazy it. traffic. I hate it. But the money management is, you know, because I survived, you know, I survived off comedy. So I was like, yo, I ain't going to overspend. But you got it now. I do have it now. You got it now. I'm I'm just waiting for anything to pop off. Relax. I'm relaxed. (laughs) You ain't. I took two months off, Kev. Remember that? That's big relaxation. But then you came (laughs) right back to work. Well, yeah, but I took a whole two months off. How many people can take two months off and not work at all and not even sweat it? Not a lot of people. See? Yeah. You have that's, an LLC? That's, that's me relax. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. That's me relax. You should be I ride the bus shit LLC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should be. He yeah. should be. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? You should you all that shit you can be, get written up. Jay, it's you, you, I know I'm preaching speaking, to the choir. Yeah, You're yeah, speaking yeah, to a I'll be wall. writing off mad stuff. Not you, you, you know how write, many 975s right you got to write off to make sense? The IRS is like this idiot is still on the dog on bus. If you can keep the money, fine. You are just handing it to the tax man. <laughs> so you can be on the bus. You're not saving it, is what I'm telling you. You are giving it to someone else who is going to go on the beach and have a Mai Tai while you're like, Terminal 3 is fine. They're like, this man did it again. Ring me up again. But it's so pricey. I just like man. the visual of you doing your taxes going, all right, let me write off this bus ride. <laughs> I do be saying that too. I'll be writing it down. They take I'm your tax money and nothing. they fund the police department that's going to arrest oh, you on man. the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you are an instrument in your yeah. own oppression. <laughs> I ain't going to make it easy. Uncle Sam got to take Hey, whatever so I have, he got to pick me up, turn me upside down. <laughs> you went to the four season? Mm-hmm. All through Europe, Uncle Sam. You have what's left, you bum. I'd rather owe him uh, than ever. Uh, you be staying at the courtyard, Marriott? I have people pick me up and put me in my bed. In the I do. I just be staying at the... You, you just know, stay the, anywhere. I do. I stayed at the Hampton Inn. I almost cried. <laughs> oh my God. Not because it was the Hampton Inn. It was because our dog on room was across the street from Bush Gardens. And we're on freaking I-5 next to our hotel. At, there's no red lights on this street. <laughs> so I'm exhausted from a red eye fly. You <laughs> shoot Fast and Furious 11 outside my room. I was like, nigga. They were like, hey, everybody does complain. We're sorry. You knew that when you put me over there. I'm dog on ambassador at Marriott. And that's ain't Hampton Inn, but y'all should talk to each other. You should have told him. Marriott should have called and said, he's big. Put him on the right side of the hotel. <laughs> and the other side of the hotel was so doggone quiet. Put me over there. Did you move? Yes. That's Tony, hilarious. It was so, it See, was I would have took it. It was like a car was driving through your room. Yeah. This sounds a little bit like the Brownie story. Be bro, a little I demon. paid. <laughs> I paid. Oh. I just said, bro, put me on the other side. They was like, we figured you. We have finally stopped talking about it. All right, Jay, what's no. something you like that your parents I'll be spending money. Man. You don't. I do. You don't. I I, I got a car. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I got a car. <laughs> Give me something for it. <laughs> I got a car, man. I can't. I'm done with it. Come on. It. I'm done with it. Big Irish Jay, what's something you like that your parents do? Right. Well, they're both dead. So thanks, Kev. I said did at the end. Did. I, I thought you said dead. I, I said, what do you like that your parents I, dead? I said your parents I said your parents do did. did. Do dead did. Do dead do dead. Do dead did. No, uh probably just my pops was always able to make me laugh at it didn't matter where we were at. I remember we went to my uh my great grandmother's funeral and my dad could just give me a look and mm. I'm I'm like crying, but then I'm like pissed at him because he's making me laugh. At yeah. the <laughs> that and then also just like little life lessons he would you know i'll think about every once in a while when it comes up what if i just started crying <laughs> oh, <laughs> and just he would tell me like no yeah, uh, we'd be okay with we would hug you yeah, yeah, oh, yeah no, for no. sure we no. feel our feelings here we cry yeah. every day man Six look days. out man I, i'd say that's uh those are it. Okay. just always ability to make me laugh and then yeah, like yeah. little life that's lessons. where you got it from huh yeah yeah your mom or dad i was not gonna go dark with my okay, dad because her dad gonna, passed away too i wasn't gonna do a dark dad joke i've been i've been kind of in my bag with those lately which is probably a cry for help so for my dad i know it was a lot of stuff i could not do growing up mm-hmm. i could not watch a lot of stuff on tv I couldn't go a lot of places well i really just could witchcraft was the only line but again like players club soul food like i still could watch that and 
I appreciate that because that's how I built most of my personality yeah. from television and movies. And my dad liked stupid shit. So I'm over here passionate about Norbit and trading places because I watch these things with my dad. Yeah, see, you mm. hate black fathers. What you mean? I love trading places. You didn't like her dad, the dad movies he taught her like yeah. trading places. So you said I fuck love... my dad, daddy? Really, <laughs> Tony? You would just get cool like that. I love trading places. <laughs> How do you feel about white fathers? <laughs> <laughs> no, but so I watched all the dumb shit like trading places coming to America with my dad. I, so I love that we were able to. Uh, did somebody say? Hmm? Oh, I, I thought it was like, who the fuck is Mel? Oh, hi, new <laughs> Miss Lady. That's so funny. Um, hi. But, uh, yeah, so, like, we would watch the dumb shit together as a family. And then my mom was just a real bitch. Like, she really just held us down. <laughs> like, she made, like, my dad That's would do the dumb. That's not what I thought you meant at first. But you meant, like, no, a not real like a real woman. bitch. No, like a real woman, like yeah, a real queen. Because, like, my dad would be the fun dad, pr- fun parent and, like, do dumb shit. My mom would come back and be the adult behind it. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's and what I'm, I'm, gotta have that balance. I'd be like, so hey, glad. guys, go cards. See yeah, ya. Yeah, pizza for breakfast. Like, my mom was like, do your homework, the, man. I'm like, yeah, kid. <laughs> Y'all want some candy? Like, my yeah. dad was a cool parent. Like, when I when I got in trouble at school, I knew to call my dad because I was scared of my mom. Mm-hmm. I wasn't scared of my dad. That's me. And then when he died, I was like, fuck. Was now what am I going to do? My mom. I was terrified of my mom more, or my dad. Yeah, my no, no, no. My, my I would push my dad yeah. to the limit the way we would just be more risky with yes. getting in trouble. That's, and to say this about dad. my mom, I, I like the fact that she made me love movies because she always took us to movies. I love your mom. She is very supportive in the Instagram stories. Oh, yeah. she. You got something going, she's going to double tap. She's in the whole group. <laughs> we was having a whole conversation like, yeah, Miss Sandy, uh, comment on my thing. Yeah. Yeah, I want to spend the night at her house. When we had a show in New Mexico, I'm like, let us sleep here. Man. I feel like you'll make pancakes in the morning. I used to drag <laughs> all kind of friends over there for oh, breakfast. Oh, Sandy Baker? She ain't got a, <laughs> she ain't got like a nice in the like, world. Sandy Baker. Sandy no, Baker. She's nice. Yeah. She's sweet as pie. <laughs> uh, something that my mom does that I, I like, my mom is funnier than me and she pushes comedy further mm. so i'll be like you and dad having sex she was like nope because i started my period i'm like what the <laughs> hell she's like i will see your disgust right. and raise like, you right. all no, man. Raise yeah. the what are you doing like i never catch her slipping yeah she got she always <laughs> have like one in the chamber you can never embarrass her like that oh. she's like sometimes she'll be like i'm too tired or, man or, yeah he'd be going to sleep or he ain't got i'll be like you After i'm gonna show, stop she asking was like you were great i was like you kept mama and you enjoyed me? Yeah. She wild. My she kind of girl. Defeated. She wild. My dad, uh, <laughs> he's very caring. Mm-hmm. He be like, he just really cares and makes sure you like, you good. He be protecting me from um, uh, other people, even in the family, like just leave him alone. I'll talk to him type of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and also he just likes talking to people and he mm-hmm. be talking to people mm-hmm. easy. They just be chopping it up. That's the reason my mom fell down the stairs because my dad was talking to Mel. We'll talk about it. Oh, wow. Day. I was going to tell you my uh, <laughs> quick story of Pops. Just give you an idea how my dad since he was. <laughs> I was like 18. I came home and my uh, just randomly my dad, he was like, hey, growing up, did you ever wish you had like siblings? And I was like, well, I thought it would always be cool to have like a little brother or an older you brother. You uh, it's complicated. Okay, uh, right. yeah, no I, shit. I, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, it would be cool to have a little brother or an older stone. brother. And he kind of takes a beat. He goes, ah, okay. He goes, well, you got a sister. She's 21. I just oh. met her. <laughs> oh, like, you... That's why it's complicated? <laughs> right. That's not even the complicated part. No, oh, okay. no. No, 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 no. Did y'all I... used to date? No, no. <laughs> y'all white. I got to ask. She's white. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I'm not going to. Yeah. Nice, yeah, Jason. Yeah. Come on. That was a nice thing, <laughs> yeah. man. You got Come on. me. <laughs> We, we both said the same thing. You're white. And I'm like, yeah, she was white. <laughs> I, was, I was saying y'all white, so I, I got to ask if you fucked your sister. But then you was like, she's white. Yeah, I don't want I know. her. And I I'm got like, it. He said, I got it. I read it. I read yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not from the South. Bigotry. Yeah. I like All that. right. This is good. This is, I saw us on the internet. Uh, <laughs> SNL versus Living Color. I don't know how that became this episode. You didn't ask not one question. I didn't get to it. But that conversation was interesting <laughs> to it me. It was a good time. We didn't finish the matchups. Oh. We did finish. We didn't match up everybody head to head. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did, we did, we did Chris and who we can did go Chris higher. And we did. And Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie don't, they don't match. After Eddie versus who? Who we say? Jim. Jim? Yeah. Who? Who? Who gonna match up with Adam Sandler on that on that no, list? Nobody, nobody being nobody. Adam Sandler. Nah. No. Maybe Jamie Fox. No. 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 Not no. box office. Not Adam box Sandler. office. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then Will Ferrell right behind him. Like, yeah. you going against uh, Damon Wayne? Now you could do. Out of all everybody, who's the most talented? I'd say Jamie Foxx. Jamie, yeah. Jamie Foxx might be the most talented person Dude, on earth. Jamie Foxx to me. Now, who's the funniest and then who has the best movies all around? And that's a whole nother. Now, hold on now. 
You got some? Eddie Murphy got song hits. No, nah, but oh, Jamie Foxx is laughable. Jamie Foxx actually... <laughs> Come on, Dude, man. That, not party all the Jamie time. Jamie plays the instruments. Yeah. Party all the time. Oh, no. and, uh, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie plays is a piano. respected I know. musician. I know. I know. And Dude. Jamie plays, but yeah. he's classically playing pianist. Yeah, but, but go Eddie, school, Murphy, it, like... Eddie Murphy can step into the conversation like, I also have a hit Bro, on Tony Billboard. Tony, though, that's not real. That's I'm not the saying, unpredictable album. Eddie Murphy got hit in television. Uh, what's that? SNL, the PJs. So oh, in the I, television I, I, world, I was like, "Well, I wasn't making any so I'm gonna let y'all hold that out." Huh? Movies, for sure. Okay, but and then actor for actor, do you think Eddie's a better actor than Jamie? We're talking I, I, like I, Jamie I, has more. I can't talent. necessarily say that Jamie Foxx is without a doubt a better actor than Eddie Murphy. I can't just All say that automatically because I, when when Eddie Murphy dipped into drama. He got nominated for an Academy Award. Out as the Jimmy game. Early? As Jimmy Early. So he has dramatic chops that we just haven't seen because they're not casting him for dramatic roles. But that's him. He had the Mr. Church. He had the Dolomite. He had the, what you call it? Dolomite, Dolomite is not really a drama. I like Dolomite, though. I'm, I'm saying, but but we know that he you can know. do drama. We know we know Jamie can do comedy but and I drama. Jamie like goes to Jamie, both extremes. But I feel like Jamie's... What we've seen of, because you use this for Denzel too. Mm -hmm. In my estimation, at their level of acting, what they have or haven't done is up to them. Like the mm -hmm. fact that Denzel hasn't done a comedy isn't because somebody would. If Denzel said, and I told, we talked about this before. Oh, yeah, yeah. If Denzel said, I want to do a comedy like Robert De Niro Carbon did copy? in uh, what's that? Carbon copy. That was oh, early, that was early. early. I hated that. <laughs> I, I hated saying. Denzel in that. Heart <laughs> condition. Yeah. Uh, if Denzel said, I want to play like Robert De Niro, Meet the Parents level, he would have that opportunity. I would love to see him in something like Me that. Me too, because he's when he did that interview with Jamie, he was I'm leaving here with something. So mm -hmm. I'm like his natural thing is funny, but he haven't done it. Right. So my point is. Eddie Murphy has, he was such a big star. If he said, I want a serious drama and I, I want three or four of those, he could have had them. Eddie took that check. Of all them bombs, he was cashing 20 million, 15 million. So that's his career choice. While Jamie was Bundini Brown and Ali, right. he was he was he got the supporting nom for Collateral, mm -hmm. which you told me. I didn't realize mm -hmm. he got nominated for He got and, nominated twice in the same year. In the same right. year. For best actor for Ray, best supporting actor for Collateral. That's just crazy. crazy. Yeah, Bundini Brown, crazy. those are three amazing things. Right. Willie Beeman, I know it's not a serious role, but I believed him as Steve oh, yeah, Willie he'd Beeman. He did great in that. Uh his special is one of my favorite comedy specials. I might need security. Absolutely. Right. His Joke, the Brady Bunch piano bit mm -hmm. is my favorite joke of any stand-up comedian because mm -hmm. nobody else can do that joke. Mm -hmm. That is such a uh, unique to his personality mm -hmm. joke. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite joke. Uh, his characters on The Living Color, there. His dog on stories on regular interviews on podcasts. He's great. I'll be like, man, you just... We yeah, haven't even talked about the Jamie Foxx show. He's great. And we ain't talking about the Jamie Foxx show. He's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Jamie, to me, is the most talented person oh. on earth. He's one of the, absolutely. I don't but. think anybody is more <laughs> talented than Jamie Foxx. But Jamie Foxx has a better singing voice than Eddie Murphy. And yes. better music. Without a and doubt. We, and he can play. Albums. Without a doubt. And, and better play. music. Those are two different but. things. Oh, my God. <laughs> but. Go. Eddie and. Murphy can also do impressions. We've seen him do So can this. Jamie Foxx. I know that. Yeah, I know that. So that's, you're saying that's, that's a, a wash. Oh, yeah. So it's not like he, he's going to wash him in impressions. Okay, I'll give you impressions. It's, it's a wash. Jamie Foxx don't have classic... Cinematic comedies. Booty call? That's I not. I personally love booty call. Booty <laughs> call is a good I time, love but it's, it's I love dwarf trash. compared to no, no, the that, several classics that Eddie Murphy part, has. He, I'm saying talent, not. Yeah, we're not, not talking numbers. But the talent is off. attached to the comedy. It's attached to the That's performances. It's all attached. Eddie okay, here, watch here, him on here the you movie. go. Could, Honestly, could Eddie do Ray, and could Jamie have done any of Eddie's movies? Yes, I think Eddie could have done Ray. I think the thing about Jamie I is... I think Jamie looked more like Ray Charles physically, but I uh, I have no doubt that Eddie Murphy could pull off a Ray Charles Eddie did performance. Stevie. I don't, I don't doubt mm. that either, honestly. I yeah. think uh, uh, Jamie was yeah, helped by point, the fact Stevie that he thing. could play, so he might have turned in a better performance, because mm -hmm. Taylor... I think it was Taylor Hackford that directed that. He was saying, like, People we'll get somebody else to play the piano and stuff like that. You disagree? Yeah. Uh, Tony, stop. I mean, hey, man. <laughs> but Y'all sleeping on Eddie then. No, no. I think the, the cinematic thing is a good point. Like, 
Eddie's, Eddie's <laughs> movie career is probably unparalleled as far as like the yeah. character success. work that Eddie Murphy does is ridiculous. No, I'm not. For, for I'm agreeing with for you. For people this point. to not know that that was him in the barbershop and coming to mm. America speaks volume about your comedic talent and your Eddie's ability to play everybody in the goddamn scene except for maybe one person. Is no argument there. Star power me, and talent are not the same. That's yeah. what I, the talent is crazy. Yeah. But I, to me, Jamie is because this is how I defined it. Mm-hmm. If Jamie Foxx were just a stand-up only, he'd be one of the greatest stand-ups. If he was like, I'm just going to do stand-up. Right. If Jamie Foxx was an R&B artist he'd only, be he'd be one of the greatest R&B artists. If Jamie Foxx was just an actor, right? Uh, Jamie Foxx the actor. Right. Nobody, Eddie can't he be can in those everything. lanes, uh, stand-up and movies he could. But yeah. the music, the music, music part, is the only thing Jamie has on him. That's why I say he's the most talent. talent. Because he, talent. Jamie could be respected in each lane <laughs> if that's hit. all he ever did in his whole career. But he, he got just focused and did, uh, and he yeah. had the TV show too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Eddie never had a sitcom that he led where he was the face of. He never needed. Other than SNL. Yeah, but that's not a sitcom. That's, that's an TV, ensemble that's show. TV. That's TV for yeah, sure. Yeah, but that's Jamie TV. did that too with Olympic TV Color. was his springboard. Fair. You know what I'm saying? Fair. But TV it's was the music that separates me. I never compared it to Eddie. I'm usually doing other actors because Eddie yeah. has the stand up and he has a bigger stand up career. And honestly, right. looking at Amy. this, Eddie has like some good, good, strong five or six movies, but he ain't got no crazy filmography. I think Eddie. Oh, Eddie? Or I Jamie. mean, Jamie, Jamie don't have uh-huh. no crazy filmography because I'm looking right here. Ray, of course, Ray, J- oh, Django. We didn't talk about Django. Django and Django. The soloist? The soloist. Soloist, he was good. The collateral. Baby Driver, he was good in that. Law Abiding Citizen. Jamie Foxx is. Did y'all see Just Mercy? Is yeah, he was good in that. Always good, damn near. Yeah it's, yeah. it's just the pictures that sometimes he picks don't always, you know, resonate. But see, I don't think Jamie has had the opportunities that Eddie's had. Because Eddie was a bigger star. I feel like he could have done anything he wanted to. Right. I don't know if Jamie could have done anything he wanted to. So that's a knock on Jamie that I don't think he could control. Where Eddie think, was picking them movies, I don't think Eddie was like, this is all I can get. Eddie, you, you, well, you kind of, even 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 if you have the control, like, all right, so Eddie's coming out of a comedic element. Mm-hmm. So he can't just come and say, I'm going to do a drama. He can. Not, but who's who's going to be like, who's going to be that confident and that Eddie, Jim Carrey wanting did. of, Robin but Williams look how long it, it took him to get to that. Mm-hmm. And Jim Carrey also, again, Robin Williams, yeah. he was acting before he blew up. He was in dramas. Oh, he yeah. was in comedy. So he was already doing that. Robin Williams Eddie went Murphy, from hard comedy to uh, Goodwill Hunting. He was like, I'm going to do straight drama, no comedy. But look at that span, though. Like, Eddie was probably like, I just want to do comedy right now. And then it was For just boom, 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 boom. And then it was like Dream Girls. And then boom. That was like 15 years. But look, look what happened when he stepped into it. He was great, but Jamie got about five, six, seven of those. Because he stepped in early. He stepped in as soon as... Uh, Actually, I would probably say Jamie has more dramas than he has comedies. Absolutely. Where he was great. He's a dramatic actor now. Juilliard, yeah. that's right. He, he He's a dramatic actor now. So once he stepped into, uh, what you call it? Collateral. Uh, any Given Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jamie yeah. Jamie Foxx, that's when the gear sh- switched mm-hmm. for him. It was yeah. like, yo, I'm doing these dramas from here on out. But that's yeah. my point. That's why I say he's more talented. He has a more prolific spread of good stuff. He's got but great I comedy. I can't give him the more talented right off the bat. I'll give it to him right the off the Eddie back. Murphy. Yeah. Only what about because party all the, the only time? Edge, the only <laughs> edge is the, the music. music. The music is what tips the scale. You only need the an edge. edge. That's the only thing. But as far as, as, far you as your they're... point with the acting, no. I'm not I, I giving said you that. It. I said the point was the music. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the tapping point. That's the tapping no, cause point. No, because you keep going back to Eddie Murphy had the choice to do no, drama. I'm that's not, what I'm saying. I don't care about none of that. Because I'm talking I'm about making the point what of, came out. Of talent wise, yeah. you have seen the breadth, the, I'm sorry, the width of Jamie's talent mm-hmm. in all these disciplines right. where he was great. You haven't seen that in Eddie. That music career is music. comedy as at best. The music is the only the thing. The music is killing him. But he has a hit, though. Yeah, but who let the dogs out is a hit? Ain't nobody going to be like, but that album, <laughs> though. Like, Milli Vanilli. <laughs> who let the dogs out still crack and still get the party started? Yeah, stuff. when you boarded a cruise. <laughs> hey, let's not forget, Jamie struck out musically at first. He did, but he got unpredictable. That 1994 album. Yeah. I, I Dude, I thought his first album was great. <laughs> yeah. T-shirt and my panties on? He had that. He did that write him? that. Yeah. For Adina Howard. Oh, he was working with oh, Adina Howard. Oh, shit. Uh, Kanye had told him, we're not doing the music like that. Listen to Eddie me. Eddie Murphy got the song with Michael Jackson. <laughs> What's up with you? Remember that? <laughs> 
We're closing this episode out. It was supposed to be short, but Tony don't want to listen to reason. Uh, we love y'all. <laughs> These podcasts are crazy. It, uh, if you want to submit stories, which we do sometimes on this show, <laughs> you do so <laughs> internet at camelstage.com. Uh, you can listen to us wherever you find podcasts. We'll see you next time. Jamie Foxx is the most talented person in the world. <laughs> no, and cut it before Tony can talk. <laughs>